Hello and happy Wednesday. Um, this is a Kundalini Yoga live that I will be doing um, several times a month, most likely on Wednesdays. Um, so hope you guys can join me. It is going to be about 10 minutes or so um, once we get a few people on here. Um, and let me know if you have any questions. Also, um, I will be posting the recording so you can watch it later on. And um, so yes, yeah, so getting centered um, with Kundalini Yoga, it's something that's helped me a lot. Um, I typically do 10 to 20 minutes a day um, in the morning, maybe five times a week. I don't do it on the weekends usually. Um, so it is something that is cumulative in my experience. So just like meditation, you know, it is meditation too. Um, yoga, um, yoga is meditation. Meditation is yoga. Yoga is not just asanas. Uh, it is cumulative. So just when you, you know, same thing with exercise or diet, you know, you reap the rewards later on. The same thing with meditation and yoga is you are becoming more naturally mindful when you do kundalini yoga and um, mastering your thoughts and emotions as well. I mean, I, you can just research um, kundalini yoga benefits and it's immense research. It's just incredible. Um, so, um, so I recommend don't do it on a full stomach. Um, I typically do it in the morning as soon as I wake up um, and um, before breakfast or before lunch or whatever it may be uh, that way you're not you know um, because it's a lot of repetitive motions and movements so you don't want to feel like you know you're gonna get sick or something like that as always consult with your doctor before starting any practice whether it's yoga exercise diet whatever it may be so I'm going to get started um, since everybody can watch this on replay, don't want to waste uh, anybody's time. So sit comfortably in a cross-legged position. You can sit on a cushion, on a pillow, or on the floor, whatever is comfortable for you. Make sure that you don't have any pains. Um, so sit comfortably in however you um, don't have any pain while sitting. And make sure your spine is straight and you're not kind of like curving your spine forward or backwards so really straight and the shoulders are also back and down and straight as well um we're going to start with the kundalini yoga mantra um, close your eyes and palms together you can say with me this mantra three times or you can simply tune in take a few deep breaths In through your nose, out through your nose. Keep your eyes closed and take a few more deep breaths. Send that exhale deep into your body, to your feet and out. And relax, Place, relax your arms and open your eyes. Hello, hello. Um, so now we're going to get started on um, doing a spinal twist. 
this is a really so with kundalini yoga you are integrating your mind body and spirit all into one so arms up into elbows are 90 degrees and mantra like this i mean um <laughs> index finger with the thumb so this is basically generating and creating peace with your mind so on the left we're going to inhale in through your nose and on the right we're going to exhale out through your nose this is going to be done really fast but go as fast as you can don't force yourself if you don't feel like going really fast and another thing that's going to integrate quite the mind is on the left in your mind you're going to say sat on the right nam so sat nam sat nam Sat Nam. And in case you missed it, please make sure your spine is straight uh, for this. And your arms will get tired, but don't give up because this is really testing your nervous system. It is helping you um, overcome the mind. The, the strength of the mind will get stronger as you do this more. Your mind will become stronger because as you push forward, in that moment when you want to give up, not be feeling pain, but that moment when you want to give up is exactly the moment you need to push through another 30 seconds or so. It's wonderful. And then when you relax, you'll feel the difference. So let's begin. Keep pushing through. Oh my goodness I definitely feel that Wow so relax keep your eyes closed or keep them open whatever feels right relax feel the vibrations of your entire spine and your arms and legs releasing the tension and getting lighter and lighter Take a few more deep breaths, come back to your equilibrium and open your eyes. So we're going to do that on the right side as well. So breathing, on the, breathing in on the right and exhaling on the left and also sat on the right, numb on the left. So um, make sure again your back is straight and your belly is tucked in. Um, this is actually really helpful if you are um, if you like to work out a lot like um, strength training um, cardio whatever it may be I work out about five times a week um, sometimes six it's just um, Kundalini Kundalini yoga has strengthened my spine and I'm feeling much more benefits when I do weight training and much stronger um, thanks to Kundalini Yoga um, and also if you don't stretch a lot this is a lot of um, movement that helps with your stretching so it's wonderful so let's begin on the right side arms up elbows 90 degrees again in a um, mudra like this okay want to say mantra mudra and let's begin on the right we're going to inhale and exhale all through the nose and it's really forceful like it's really like an intentionally strong inhale and a strong exhale so let's begin
and relax. Keep your eyes closed. This helps with if, if you feel any dizziness. Keep your eyes closed and relax your arms, your shoulders. Let any tension drop down into earth. Relax your face, your eyes, your nose, your lips, your forehead, your cheeks, your chin, your ears, your neck left shoulder, right shoulder, your back, your stomach, left leg, right leg, left foot, right foot, left toes, right toes. Now focus on the left fingertips, left hand, fingertips, and right hand, fingertips. Where do you feel tension in your body? Let it go. Is it in the palms of your hands, your left hand or right hand? Witness and release what needs to be released. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Open your eyes. So now that we have kind of wakened our body and kind of got getting more centered through the body and through the mind, let's do some breath work. Um, alternate nostril breathing, um, mudra like this, um, thumb up and ring finger and um, pinky finger up. So you're going to close your right nostril, breathe in through the left. So breathe in through the left and then we're going to exhale on the right. So one, two, three, let's begin. Close the left, exhale through the right. Now breathe in through the right, close the right, exhale through the left, and keep doing that. Breathe in through the left, close, exhale on the right. Hello and welcome. Breathe in through the right. Close and breathe out to the left. Breathe in to the left. Close and breathe out to the right. Breathe in to the right. Breathe out to the left. Breathe in to the left. Breathe out to the right and relax. Now take a few deep breaths through both nostrils. You should be feeling a little bit more centered and breathing easier. Now roll your shoulders forward and backwards. Now one more um, practice we're gonna do is arms up. And as you go down and exhale down, you're going to feel like you're going to pull something down. So arms up and palms open. And as you go down, you're going to close your fists and pull down forcefully like you're pulling a, a, um, a ribbon or um, a rope. You're pulling it down. So on the up, we're going to inhale and then exhale as you pull it down. So also we're going to do this fast. And on the up is sat and nam. So in your mind, sat nam, sat nam, sat nam. In and all breathing is through the nose. Spine is straight. Stomach is tucked in, sucked in. And 
make sure shoulders are down and relax and let's begin so get to a point where your body's trying to fatigue like your shoulders or whatever part of your body are working this is definitely working your shoulders um, that is the point like I said before is that you want to continue to push through because it is your mind that is telling you you're really getting fatigued you want to give up and that is the point that you keep going because the more you keep going the more you can see how much you can overcome your comfort zone how much you can how much you can do more versus what your mind thinks it can do um, a lot of times we give up when things are hard. Um, I'm not saying push through if you're in pain, but what I'm saying is this Kundalini Yoga is a mental test. It is a lot of testing of the mind. Um, you'll notice that um, this is, like I said in the beginning, cumulative effect. The more you do this Kundalini Yoga practice, even if it's just this 10 minutes, uh, you'll notice that you are reacting less and responding more to life. Your mind, you are becoming the master of your mind and you will be able to observe your thoughts and observe your um, desired actions before they actually occur and you will be able to stop yourself from acting a certain way or believing a certain way or um, your emotions, you'll be able to observe your emotions, feel them and um, not act or react on them. Um, so like I said, it's a really um, important mental test. So push through. You're strengthening um, your immune system. You're strengthening your nervous system. This is why I love Kundalini Yoga. Um, so I think it's been 10 minutes. So I'm going to close it out. What we can do is just relax a little bit and rotate your spine left around. So inhale back. Exhale in front. And then go around again so inhale on the front exhale on the back so keep curving your back curve it out and in you can now breathe through your nose and out through your mouth if that feels better just to let go and release anything that needs to be released So I'm going to close it out with the mantra. Um, so um, close your eyes, palms together, and you can just tune in. You can say the three times OM with me because that should be easier. Take a few deep breaths. And it helps when you say the mantras on the exhale. So that way you have a full breath in and then you say the mantra on the exhale. Oh. Oh. Satoma Satgamaya Tamasoma Jotir Gamaya 
Mrityorma Amritam Gamaya Om Shanti 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 Keep your eyes closed. Send gratitude to every single cell of your body by sending your awareness to your head, your neck, your shoulders, your back, your stomach, your arms, your hands, your stomach, your legs, your feet. Send your awareness to your whole body and send gratitude to your cells and your body keeping you alive without you having to do anything. Take a few more deep breaths. bow down namaste thank you guys for being here and let me know what you think and um if you have any questions please post them or send me a dm and i can tailor specific kundalini yoga sessions like i said in the beginning i will be doing these on wednesdays um not every wednesday but you know um i will be probably doing them on mostly on wednesdays so thank you guys for being here Namaste and have a great day today.